So YouTube declared that the last episode is only available to someone with a YouTube account that is verified they are 18 years or older. Now, I tried to appeal this. The majority of our fans are seven years old. That is who this show connects with, the children. So I tried to appeal this. They knocked it down. Then we talked to YouTube. We finally got through. We said, this is satire. You don't actually want to boil homeless people in a pot. It's a satirical show. They said, we understand that it is comedy and it is satire, but it is still satire that is not appropriate for someone under the age of 18. Well, then nothing is. Well, then nothing's appropriate. Mm. So we lost. We lost, yeah. Then we can Spotify, it's the time for you to get in the game with me now. You need to get in the game right now. The pussy is wet, Mm -hmm. Spotify. Come to me and give me money, and I will join you. Come to me now. Let's stop this pussy footing around. Mm. Stop telling me you're not interested. Stop refusing to give me money. Stop saying we're going woke. The guy that made the Rogan deal, we pushed him out of the company, and we hired some woman who's trying to do a project with the Stars of Friends. No one gives a shit what the Stars of Friends have to say about the, the fucking the world, okay? Stop making celebrities do podcasts. I'm sure Jason Bateman is a swell guy. No one wants to know what he thinks about anything. He's a brilliant actor, and I love everything he does, but that's the only capacity that I want him. I do not care what his hot takes are. Mm. I... I think this era of celebrities doing podcasts will ruin it. I am uninterested in Jennifer Aniston's take on anything. Who in God's name wants to know what Courtney Cox has to say about Russia? Shut it down. (laughs) Shut it down now. Stop with the nostalgia. These shows were big 30 fucking years ago. I was nine years old when these shows were big. I'm 71 years old right now. Let it die. People that are good at podcasting are good at it precisely because there is no other option for them. So they get good at it or they die. What motivation does Jennifer Aniston have to be really, really entertaining on the mic? What's the motivation for Jason Bateman? Can someone share that with me? When Jason Bateman gets in his Tesla or Jennifer Aniston gets in her chariot and they take her from whatever perch she's at and they drive her to a studio where she has to go Mm. and sit in front of a microphone. What is her motivation to make anything good? There isn't one. It doesn't exist. None of these people can ever share their real thoughts with you because that's the deal. The deal they made, which is a good deal, was to shut their mouth. And every time they went to open it, oh, here comes the money. (laughs) Money. (laughs) Keep your mouth shut and here's the money. And now we go, hey, how about just be you? Hey, you know how you've spent 30 years becoming someone that isn't you because you doesn't exist? Because you wasn't interesting, because you didn't matter, because you is from a shithole, dust bowl town, suburb of Illinois, wherever these people are from. No one cares about you. They care about Rachel and Ross and whatever the fuck you were, and along came Polly, and they care about Ozark, and they care about Arrested Development. They don't care about you. So shut up. And go back to work and leave our fucking thing alone. You're not going to be good at it. Mm. What the fuck are you going to say? What is Jennifer Aniston? Unless, unless P. 
people like Jennifer Aniston really lose their like unless they really for whatever reason just like like start like complaining about their maid like for the first 30 minutes of the episode mm-hmm. and go like I don't know where she's from Honduras or something but I'll tell you right now I don't trust her and I watch her I have to watch her and I don't like that if it goes in that direction it could be great mm-hmm. Like if Jennifer Aniston spends 30 minutes of the opening salvo of her show complaining about her maid that's faking long COVID. (laughs) Like if Jennifer Aniston's like, this bitch says she has long COVID, she's a liar and she puts on like a wheeze and her breathing, she pretends to have labored breathing and Jennifer Aniston goes, it disgusts me and I wish I could call her out on it, but Mm. I can't. If that's the direction it goes, but you know that's not what it's going to go. They're going to, and this is how they kill podcasting. How do they kill podcasting, Tim? You're always so dramatic. I'll tell you how they do it. Mm. The plan the plan is to kill it. The plan is to kill it. What they're going to do to kill podcasting is they're going to let vapid celebrities do it. Mm. And they're going to market it and advertise it. To the, in the same way that they kill everything else, you're going to get so sick of the idea of it that people that are good and anti whatever you want to call it mm. are going to have to do something else. And I don't know what that other thing is. It might be Twitch. It might be meeting people in the woods. I don't know where it goes. But what it's going to not be is it's not going to be hanging out with Jason Bateman, Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> Whoever else they put out here, again, who's re- I have a, m- a lot of respect for their work. Mm. Get the fuck out of a cheap studio with I'm drinking out of plastic. Co- Our life is hell. Why do you want this? What are you going to see? You have millions and millions of dollars. I got to sit and wait for him to get a clip up for nine minutes. Can I be on Friends? Why do you want this life? Can you not? But they need to kill it. Mm. <clears throat> they need to kill it. And how they kill it is by flooding this space with celebrities with nothing mm. to say. Not only do they have nothing to say, they are contractually obligated to say nothing mm. by existing. Their existence is the contract. The contract is they are unable to say anything. They will be handed talking points at the beginning of every year. The Ukraine is a powerful. I believe that the trans, the blacks are being killed. Like that's all they're going to do. They're going to be handed a script every single day and they're going to read the script. Mm. I don't have a script. I have ads of, Companies that are not going to exist in three months. Because I'm a podcaster. Leave us alone. I have $90,000 sunglasses <laughs> because the Mossad had to kill Princess Diana because she couldn't mix royal blood with Arab blood. Google it. Look into it. Are you going to talk about that, Jen? Is Jennifer Addison going to talk about the Mossad hit against Princess Diana? for mixing royal and and Muslim blood. If that is the case, I am wrong. Egg on my face. Boy, do I want to have egg on my face. Is Jason Bateman, he's so goddamn quiet. Isn't his whole thing, he's like quietly intense. Sure, yeah. (sighs) There's nothing left to do. Stop it. Mm. You all have enough money, piglets. Who? What are we going to do? If Jack Nicholson's going to have a podcast, how bad does it get? We're going to take every icon and legend and we're going to make them die podcasting. Mm. That's how sick this business is. <sighs> 